Hey, what's going on, guys? First thing I want to tell you about, um, what was it? Monday Mission Mayhem. It is up on my uh, other channel. Uh, click the links in the description. Uh, if I remember, I'll put an annotation at the uh, very end of the video so you can watch this one first. But if you prefer to watch that one uh, first for whatever reason, if you like it better than uh, zombies, uh, just click the uh, links in the bottom. I'm too lazy to put in two annotations. I'm sorry. Let's get started here. I haven't. I, haven't, I don't. What I was trying to say is I haven't played, or sorry, I've played this a couple times, but I haven't uh, attempted at making a video. I'm not gonna let you guys listen to this guy, cause yeah, I'm too I'm too lazy to wait. I guess it's just a guy talking about. It's one of the guys talking that was uh, in the zombie experience. I don't know. It doesn't really matter at all in in my head, anyways. Now, right here, lots of people like to run and grab this right away. The way I do it is, I don't want to waste one of those on this room, so I get that on my way out. So if I get if I go down before leaving this room, then I just restart. That's the way I go. That's that's just what I do. I I don't like to uh, waste one on this room. I just and you might say, why don't you just get it so then uh, then you can just because like it won't matter. But uh, the reason I don't get it is because if I get downed, I wanna I wanna die so I can restart. It's kind of annoying how. Uh, you don't get points for fixing the barriers at certain uh, times, which really annoying in my head. But whatever. Let's see if I get points for this one. See, I don't get points. What the hell? Why? Still don't figure that out. Gotta wait until the next round starts before I get points. I think that's dumb. I think you should just get points no matter what for like the first three times you fix it and then after that it doesn't give you points. I just it's a, it's just annoying, you know. But I guess they want you to try to fix it while the zombies are coming after you. Okay, so my strategy is I don't buy a gun till I get to the AK-74U. And I don't go for it right away. I go all the way around to the theater, and I turn on the power, then I go I go back out through here, and I go in through there and go outside. There may be another way to get through there. What I just did right there, that's extremely risky what I did. Notice how he hit me. Every time you get hit without wearing Juggernaut, you need to back off immediately. Because if he hits you, you're done. And, uh... Sometimes they double hit you, which is it's just annoying as fuck, you know. They should fix that, in my opinion. But sometimes when you have double points, it gives you the points no matter what, because you know it's kind of gay to be right there. What the fuck? It's annoying. Why do they do that? I got the Japanese guy, it sounds like. Hey, they're three hits now, which is a lot. If you're knifing only, anyways. So yeah, I just, I like to stay in this room until I... Until I start to get overwhelmed. Like, right here, I'm, I'm kind of getting overwhelmed, so... Just back off and leave. Sometimes I get to up to round, like, seven or eight. With, you know, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars. It just... It's... It's kind of random on how much you get. There's the mystery box. I don't go with the mystery box because uh, it just seems like a bad idea because you have to rely on max ammo. Um, not relying on uh, max ammo, you can just go back and buy ammo. That's that's the way I personally like to do it. If you want a challenge or if you want a certain gun, you're going to have to rely on the max ammo. But uh, AK-74U is just fine in my opinion. Oh, shit. I hate it when you get stuck on shit. It's annoying. Oh god! 
There's a guy behind me. Shit. I think he may be the last one. Nope. So once I get the last one, I'm gonna go grab the, uh... I guess I can go grab it now. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go grab that, uh, second chance or whatever you wanna call it. The revive. And you get three of these, so... You know... Just be aware of that. So, uh, if you wish to see more zombies, be sure to let me know, because it's pretty fun, and, uh, I got the other four maps from the World at War, so... If you're interested in seeing those, I can upload those as well. I've only played five once with my cousin, and uh, I haven't beat a... Uh... Well, that's great. Get it right at the end of the round. I haven't beat a uh, single player yet to unlock five. I know there's a cheat code, but I'm too lazy to look it up, and I don't, I don't really care. I like this map better than five anyways. This one seems a lot less, you know, small. I don't know. It's my opinion. So, uh, before you buy the 7.4U or whatever gun you wish, um, I recommend buying the Bowie Knife first, uh, the Juggernaut second, and if you wish, Sleight of Hand third. You can get Double Tap, but I don't get it. It, it burns through ammo quicker, but if you do wish to get it, I recommend that you leave it as a last priority because shooting faster isn't really a big deal in this. It's kind of just a novelty, but, you know, it wastes your ammo, it goes through ammo faster, so. I see that as a disadvantage myself, but, uh, hell, if you like, if you like it, go nuts. So, yeah, Bowie Knife, Juggernog, then your gun. That's the way I, I've done it anyways. Alright. When you're doing what I'm doing right here, having them come behind you, beware of behind you when you're knifing them this way. Because these fuckers will come out of here. And from over here, they just, they come at you when you least expect it. It's really annoying. So, just be aware of that. I can hear those fuckers. Yeah, they're coming from the ceiling. When you get the Bowie knife, it feels like easy mode. It really does. It's awesome. And Juggernaug. They're just two things that help out so much. That'll help out a little bit. Give me some more points, I guess. Oh, stupid couch. Oh, I already shot that guy, didn't I? That was clumsy of me. Really? Three knives after I put my whole clip into him? Huh. See, look at that. It looked like I missed. Oh, shit! That guy must have had a uh, freaking ninja on or some shit. Didn't even hear him. I just got lucky there. Fuck. Yeah, you're gonna see when I get this Bowie knife. Tide's gonna turn, baby. Hello. Thing I just picked up there that fixes all the uh, broken windows and whatever. If you're wondering, yeah, this baby right here. This is this is money in the bank. My opinion, that shit's worth uh, worth um worth five or six thousand. So helpful. All these dogs, they're a one knife hit kill. I'm pretty sure they still are, even when you don't have the Bowie knife, so... Just so you know. And the reason I went against this door is... Is because, just in case, there's like three of them coming at me. Then I have an, an exit strategy, you know. 
And make sure you don't open it before you need it because they could come from behind you. Alrighty. Juggernaut first. I almost forgot. <laughs> but yeah, just watch the work I can do with this friggin' uh, this uh, Bowie knife. It's ridiculous. It's a one-hit kill and the zombies up to like round. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know exactly which round. It's like it's you know it's like seven or eight or maybe nine. And the crawlers, the stinkers, whatever you want to call them, the guys that uh, crawl around and they drop. Uh, they drop uh, smoke bombs. They're a one-hit kill for a long time. I don't think I've even uh, gotten to the point where they aren't yet. I've only played this a few times, like I said. Should link that. I'm not going to get that for a while, though, so. These guys right here. They're a one-hit kill for a long time. See this insta-kill? Don't even need it right now. Uh oh, my eyes itchy. That's better. Now my now my cheeks itchy. That's not good. Okay, I'm afraid they're gonna come behind me now. And uh, for price tag, the uh, Bowie knife 3000 Juggernaug uh, 2500. Sleight of hand, I'm pretty sure is 2000. Don't quote me on that. I can go check for you in a sec. Uh, double tap is 2,000. Uh, the AK-74U is 1,200. M16 is 1,200. MP5K is 1,000. I'm not sure the price of all the guns, but those are the those are quite a few of them. Stakeout's 1,500. Uh, I'm not sure what else there is. It looks like I have enough to go buy the uh, 74U as well. Oh, maybe not. I gotta open this door up. Yeah, I need 1,200. Here's the double tap if you're looking for it. Double tap root beer. 74 U's right there. I just gotta get some more cash. So yeah, I'm not sure how far I'm gonna get in this. But, uh... Maybe I'll play two games, depending on how far I get. Yeah, I got enough now. And these guys come from everywhere, everywhere so just be prepared for that. Hey, yeah, don't use the uh, 7-4-U until uh, this Bowie knife isn't a one-hit kill. Double points is helpful as fuck. Make sure you watch your back, too. You got a headset crank it up mine isn't that loud right now maybe I should turn it up a bit see now it's giving me money in between rounds like I don't get it is the further you get the then it changes like that uh, was confusing. So now, um, you can either pick a second gun or you can stick with your pistol. Because when you go up there, up there that is, you want to have two guns that you want to upgrade. So, oh, kaboom. I'm not sure how the kaboom works either. Does it just kill all the zombies that are in the room at the time? Or does it kill everyone in the round? I guess I can find out now. It doesn't look like the round's ending, so no it doesn't. Guess it just kills everyone alive at the time. Alright, still a one hit kill on the zombies, so no worry. But yeah, you wanna find another gun you wanna use. I think I'm going to use the MP5K. Actually, that's a bad idea considering the both submachine guns. I should get something for long range like the uh the M16. I'm gonna take a look around for a bit first, actually. Actually, what do you guys think? The M16 or the stakeout? Because I'm thinking the stakeout right now, actually. There's a bunch of these fuckers, eh? Alright, 
Alright, let's go let's go buy the uh stakeout. This will be good for hordes and uh that shotgun will be good for let's see how much this is, just to let you guys know. Three thousand. I think that's quite a bit in my opinion, but uh whatever. I should buy it anyways. Okay, let's see if these guys are a two hit now. Nope, at level nine still. That's great. Better get this quick before. That was a bad idea what I just did. Woo! Make sure it's like in between rounds when you buy shit like that. Because you having to drink that soda really takes away your time. Alright, so now I'm going to save up. I really should have bought that speed cola after I upgraded because I'm not even going to be using my weapon. Anyways, doesn't matter. Oh shit! Again, you gotta watch your back a lot. Make sure they aren't coming on you. Insta kill. It is tempting to shoot, not gonna lie. But this is the most points, so it is the one to do. Is that it? There's some more coming. That sounds like that. Nope. That sound was the sound of that bonus running out. There you go. What was I supposed to buy now? Nothing? I'm not sure. Oh, right. I was gonna go link the uh, thing, so. Yeah, pretty much. It's, ooh, a puppy round. Puppy round's a free round, basically. And, uh. You either want to use the knife or the shotgun on the puppies. That's that's kind of the reason I bought the shotgun. It's for the puppies. They're still a one-hit kill, though, so it doesn't look like I need them. Need the shotgun yet. But eventually I will, if I make it as far as I hope. Again, don't expect me getting to level, like, 40 or something, because this is probably... Like, I've probably played this under 15 times. And that may sound like a lot, but it really isn't. Alrighty, now I just need to get another 1510 bucks. I'll be able to move on. So yeah, to link the machine, I didn't even know this one. Like, this is the second time playing today, and I didn't even know the first time I did. You have to click this one, then you have to click the one over there. For it to work, so. I didn't know that. Just thought I'd let you guys know just in case. Okay, these guys have to be a two hit. Yeah, they're two hits now. So level 11. No, wait, it might have been 10 because I was a puppy round. I'm going to say level 10 just in case. These guys are still a one hit though for a while. Alrighty. They're all coming. Since I need the points right now, I'm not going to use that trap. But, uh, once you get everything you need and you're basically just putting money in the bank, uh, I would use the traps, definitely. Whoa. Run, run, run! Oh, shit! Another thing to note, if you get downed, you lose all your perks. Don't lose don't lose the Bowie knife for I'm not sure about weapons. I don't think you lose any of your weapons, but uh don't quote me. Alright, just need another four hundred and ten bucks. Let's do this, let's do this! Oh Double points, that comes in handy. There we go, I got the enough enough now. I'm just gonna finish this round. I feel like I only use me blade here. Oh god, I got stuck on the stupid piece of shit.
Make sure you watch your back. What dropped there? I'm curious as to what that is. It's a nuke. Alright, I'm going to make them all follow me up this way. We're going to play a little ring around the rosy here. I'm going to... Oh, shit! They caught on. What the hell? I swear that looked like a nuke. Whatever, at least they're a one-hit kill now. That's probably better, because now I get the points off each zombie, too. Alrighty, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, you gotta be quick up here doing this, because, uh... Apparently you spawn back there uh, on a timely basis, not what uh, not what you want. Go quick, go quick! And with 4,500 bucks to spare. This is the raid, and this is the AK-74UF... AK-74FU2. <laughs> That's funny. Treyarch, I love you. Frag grenades, I already got those. Wonder if there's anything else up there. I'm not sure. I never use it. Hmm. What was in that room? Some tapes. Okay, so we got ten in here, and this we have double ammo and a red dot. Oh, so I guess it's a random uh, ready kill every time because last time it was a uh, green smiley face.